Today we're going to be installing a Bigsby B7 Vibrato using the Bigsby Vibramate installation method. This means I will not need to drill any new holes in the guitar or alter it at all. I will actually be able to return it in its current state that it is if I ever want to. I'll also be including some shallower strap locks. Now after speaking with many people at stores, I have determined that it should be fairly easy to do this. However, this is my first time, so I'm either going to show you how easy it is, or I'm going to show you how stupid I am. So let's get started and see what we can accomplish. As you can see, I've already laid out the hardware and pulled that out of the box, so right now we're just going to go ahead and loosen and remove the strings. It always helps to use a drill for this sort of thing much quicker. Just going to unscrew the back of the tuner. Hold on to the stop bar tail piece. Do not want that to come flying off. And here is my first issue. The stop bar tail piece didn't come off as expected. This must be a feature of the Tone Pro stop bars on the new 2012s. The stop bar tail piece is held on by two set screws. An Allen wrench will release it. Let's see if we can remove the bolts here. These should come off by hand, no tools required. One thing I like to do when changing the strings on my guitar is lemon oil the fretboard. I do this once about every six months or so. I just use a uh, Denlop's 65 lemon oil. Helps moisturize the fretboard. For the smaller frets, I use a cloth. I don't want to get oil on the finish. Now that we have the stop bar removed, let's install the Vibramate on the guitar. For the USA made guitar, we use the USA made screws. I'm going to do them by hand here until the very end. The least amount of metal objects near the top of the guitar, in my opinion, the better. It's on there nice and tight. Definitely like the symmetry of that. Okay. Now I'm going to move this up and remove the strap button on the guitar. The strap button is quite important, as you can see. It needs to be removed. It is actually what will hold the back plate on. Just a real quick moment, I'm going to take a 
quick second to use some guitar polish um, to clean the top of the guitar where the Bixby is going to go. That won't be seeing the light of day for a while. I want to make sure that's nice and clean. And then next I'm going to uh, take the guitar and move that and prepare the Bigsby. Now the one thing it does tell you to do in the instructions is it tells you to remove these felt pads here. So we're going to try to do that real easily here. save those just in case we need them again in the future. Let's go ahead and install the end plate bumper on. Pre-install that. Here's our screws. You're going to need a smaller screwdriver. Let's install the end plate on. Um, we need a smaller screwdriver here, which we've got. Let's go ahead and prepare that up. Get all four of those in there. Let's go ahead and put the guitar back on. As you can see, we previously already prepared and added the plate on that we will install. And uh, now let's put the bigs beyond. Let's do a quick test to make sure this thing is going to actually work before we start screwing things in. I'm actually going to put these bumpers down here. I actually feel a little bit of it hitting the body there and just want to be safe. So, one quick wipe down. Make sure we're all good. Looks like it is going to fit. Put that screw in. Not not gonna tighten these down yet. Finish tighten this through on. Looks like it's going to work. Nicely. My button knob is actually a little bit to the right, but I think we'll be able to get it in there.
put a towel under this to lift this up. in there. Bigsby is installed. Okay, and then now we need to uh, restring the guitar. I use uh, 1046s. Not that it really matters. You can use whatever you want. Use DRs. Again, you can use whatever you want. You want to take the uh, white washer and you want to lift up. You want to place that in the little holder right there. Take the spring, put that in there. Take your Bigsby. One very crucial thing you want to do is you want to pre bend this otherwise it will snap back and it will uh, um, damage your top so you want to pre-bend these for the big piece like so I want to show you how you install your pre-bent strings on the little pin here on the Bigsby. Lastly, we're going to do a quick tune-up on this here. Once you get the guitar tuned up, uh, then go ahead and cut the strings off. After polishing off all my fingerprints, I'm going to play this baby, see how it sounds, feels, and plays with the new Bigsby. That concludes the installation of the Bigsby B7 and Vibramate on a Gibson Les Paul. I felt like it was a very, fairly easy installation, other than the little hitch I ran into with the stop bar tailpiece made by Tone Pros. I was not expecting to have a set screws holding that on, a very good feature for when you're changing your strings. A little bit of a disappointment when you're trying to do a demo video and not aware of that issue. With that being said, I hope that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video and find me on Twitter at Selenium. You can also learn more about us on Facebook, The Flow Guitar Enthusiasts. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.